Mount Fuji, Japan's tallest mountain. With its steep incline and rocky alpine terrain, climbing Mount Fuji is not to be taken lightly, especially if you want to complete the hike in one day as I'm going to attempt in this video. I decided to hike Mount Fuji on a whim since the season opened up just before the end of my trip in Japan. I am one night out from doing Mount Fuji, just watching videos, psyching myself out because it seems pretty intense. So with very little preparation and planning, join me as I attempt to climb four kilometers into the sky to reach the summit of Mount Fuji all in one day. I am on my way to hike Mount Fuji. I got my sign and I'm gonna attempt to hitchhike to the base. After waiting about 45 minutes, this super nice hiker gave me a ride to the fifth station. Having done several volcano hikes, I decided it would be better to summit Mount Fuji in one day. I have two reasons for this. One, it's usually pretty cold and uncomfortable near the top of mountains like this, and I'd rather not sleep up there. And two, the huts book up quickly and they are expensive. And this way I can do the hike with less stuff. I only need food and water for one day and I don't need any overnight gear. I'm also trying to avoid the insane crowds with this method since most people hike up in the evening and descend in the morning. <clears throat> I successfully hitchhiked to the fifth station. The guy was so nice. Japanese guy, he's hiking today as well. So here we go, I'm almost ready. Hey, domo. Domo. Here they ask for a 1,000 yen donation for conservation efforts. After you donate, they give you a map and a little wooden plaque. Fog's rolling in. I just did my first drum flight right before the clouds came in, which I'm pretty happy about. But now I need to get more serious and get to the seventh station before I take another break. Only rest in areas that are safe. Do not rest in areas where there is a caution for falling rocks or in areas where the path is narrow. Do not continue hiking if you feel any symptoms of allergy sickness. <clears throat> I think I'm about 2k in to the 6k total. It's like Peru without the cocoa leaves. It would be nice to have some cocoa leaves to chew on right about now. I think I'm getting close to the first station, actually. See it all the way up there. So how do I feel so far? Well, I saw one sign that said I did 1.5K out of the six, so I am 25% through. It really doesn't feel so bad right now, actually. Um, and maybe I'm getting false hope from seeing up there where I can see the huts. I'm prepared for a long one, but right now I feel pretty good. The path varies from very crude and rocky sections to well-maintained stairways. It would be very difficult to get lost as there is always some kind of chain or rope leading the way. Konnichiwa. These are the bunks I could have seriously overpaid for if I did the hike in two days instead of one. You can buy overpriced food and water at each of these stations, but for me, I carried all my own provisions. I brought three meals and three liters of water. I also brought a lot of 100 yen coins because the bathrooms cost 200 yen to use up here. Beware of falling debris. It's getting considerably steeper and more difficult because of the elevation. So I put the sun hat on just to protect myself, but 
2K left of the six. As I neared the top, I got to enjoy an absolutely stunning view in all directions. That's snow right there. It's definitely getting colder up here. I kept running into this British guy named Josh. He was solo hiking it too, so we actually hiked to the top together. It's part of what I love about hiking solo. I always meet cool people along the way. That's the highlight of, uh, of the, the peak. <laughs> <laughs> but, but unfortunately, the trip's not over yet. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Uh, I'm not making it. I'll just stay here. Only 200 meters left to go. The hardest 200 meters, I think. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. As you can see, I got amazing visibility at the peak. I couldn't have asked for better weather. It's roped off, but make sure you walk around the crater. For me, this was the best part of the hike. It would be a shame to hike to the top without actually seeing into the crater itself. There's a peak, we're so close. Look at all the snow. How do you feel, Josh? I feel good, I feel strong. Oh uh, yeah, dude. The last few steps <laughs> I to got the it, peak. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. The crater. The actual peak of Mount Fuji. Actual peak of Mount Fuji. Oof. It was actually quite a hard hike, I would say. We had to take that route down, back around the crater, and exit that way. Sigui. Look, you can see all this snow on the top. Before I began the descent, I did one last drone flight to capture some beautiful footage of the peak. Here are a few shots of us hiking around the crater. I met this Japanese guy at the top and we hiked all the way down together, which took us roughly two and a half hours. The descent was pretty grueling. Overall, this hike was a once in a lifetime experience. While it's more difficult to complete in one day, I found it to be very doable with an early start. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.